Hi to all, welcome back to a vlog video. It's seven in the morning and my son is waiting for his school bus. Prepared a quick breakfast with upma and kesari bath. Had to attend the orientation program at my son's school. So we are here at his school. That evening we are out to spend few time at Kalyan Nagar. My son having Pani Puri. I don't have such food. So we are at Chunks to try Chinese cuisine. We came to this restaurant thinking that we'll get the authentic Chinese dishes here. Only the gobi manchuri had the typical Chinese taste. The veg noodle and veg fried rice had the taste as of local restaurant. A homemade fried rice and noodle would taste much better than what was served here. way back home. I enjoy riding on a bike than the four-wheeler. It saves time and traffic. So today I had put all the doormat and curtain for wash. I love to keep changing the room with matching colors. For morning breakfast, I had prepared neer dosa. For the leftover batter, I added cooked rice, sugar and elaichi. Then ground it into fine paste to prepare kannur appam. The taste was not that good but somewhat it was okay. This weekend, I am going to prepare alu paratha that is the frozen alu paratha so that I can reheat and pack it for my son's lunch box whenever needed. His school bus comes at 7 am in the morning so preparing his breakfast and lunch box is a big task for me. At times, these type of freezed parathas help a lot during lazy morning. I had put recipe of aloo paratha many times. 
but the frozen paratha was prepared for the first time and yes it was a great help to me for me it's very easy to cook aloo paratha usually i press it in the chapati maker and then fry it since i'm going to freeze these parathas i'm going to roll it out and then fry These parathas can be stored in the freezer for 15 to 20 days or more. I am going to fry these parathas by applying oil on both the side. Just fry it up to 75 to 80 percent. Once the parathas are cooled, store it in a container. I had placed butter paper after four parathas. There is no need of placing the butter paper. You can store it all together in a container. So these are the freezed parathas it has not stuck to each other fry these parathas by applying oil on both the side
my son enjoy aloo paratha either with pickle or mayonnaise so for today's lunch box i have kept pickle today was a sunny day and my son was craving to have ice cream had a pack of whipping cream in my fridge so i'm going to make a mango pulp i'm taking one mango and making a pulp by adding sugar for this one pack of whipping cream i have used around 16 tsp of sugar now beat the whipping cream until fluffy add the mango pulp and ice cream essence and beat again add dry fruit if required mix well transfer it to a container and deep freeze for 6 to 7 hours I had freezed the ice cream for 6 to 7 hours and the ice cream is ready. Try this way it has the same texture and taste as of store brought. Now this video was taken on an evening when I had prepared a simple rava cutlet for evening tea. Chop cabbage, chilli, ginger and garlic. To a pan add oil and the chopped veggies keep frying until the water evaporates add salt I have these fried and shredded chicken. I'm going to add it. 
Now add the spices that is coriander powder, turmeric powder, garam masala powder and jeera powder. Mix well. For an extra flavor, I am going to add chopped pudina leaves. Now add boiled and smashed potato. Prepare cutlets out of it. Add a teaspoon of oil to a pan. Dip each cutlet in semolina and shallow fry. So a very tasty and simple evening snack is ready. All of you do watch all my videos. Thanks for watching.